What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Follow the BTS team on social media. Our links are in the description below. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video to watch our common features and some new bonus content. You can watch me mess up a lot. On today's list, we are shining a spotlight on Jeremy Renner's acting career. He made headlines this weekend for some pretty serious allegations, and I'm going to share all the details on this list, so look no further. I have all the hot tea. This is not the first time his career has been in jeopardy, but this might just be the name in his career coffin. Let's get started with today's list of top 10 reasons why Jeremy Renner's career is over. Starting off our list at number 10 is his nasty divorce. He got married to Sonny Pacheco in 2014 and only 10 months later she filed for divorce. The reasons weren't clear at first, but the court papers showed that Jeremy had to return her passport, birth certificate, and social security card which she claims he had stolen. She ended up saying that the reason for their split was simply irreconcilable differences. At first they agreed to share custody of their daughter Ava, with Jeremy paying $13,000 a month in child support. But in April 2018, after his Marvel salary made him a high income earner, he was set to pay $292,000 in addition to the child support that year. Things began getting sour, and just last month, Sonny filed a request for sole legal and physical custody of Ava with monitor visitation put in place for Renner. It's been a pretty gnarly custody battle between the two of them, with Sonny accusing him of a drug addiction. He is feeling the pain from his divorce, too. During an interview, with Playboy magazine, he said, I haven't slept more than four hours a night in the past week. My skin is breaking out. I've got dark circles under my eyes. I'm dehydrated. I look like <laughs> Up next, number nine is his awful music career. Oh yeah, our beloved Hawkeye has dabbled in the world of music. He's actually been playing music for a long time now, having some well-known songs like I Drink Alone, which was actually the soundtrack for the drama North Country. But fans were kind of weirded out when he dropped a new single on June 28th, only a few months after the massive release of Avengers Endgame. He was coming off a high following the epic movie, but for some reason wanted to release a song in hopes to spark up some sort of music career. He released a rock song called Heaven Don't Have a Name on Spotify, and fans felt so some type of way about it. Basically, a whole lot of confusion. One Twitter user said, Jeremy Renner does not have friends who are honest with him. Another user said, not being able to tell if Jeremy Renner's song is real is what the dangerous legalization of marijuana has done to this country. These are awesome. No one is saying he has a bad voice, but I think we're all just equally confused as to why he's trying to have a music career. So far, it's not going so well. P.S. Heaven does have a name. It's heaven. Coming into the number eight spot is the Jeremy Renner app was a fail. Yes, he created his own app and it was called the Jeremy Renner app, which is very creative and out of the box thinking. I have to admit. The app was created two years ago and has been an ongoing joke online that it even existed. The app was created for Jeremy Renner's fans as a way to interact with each other and basically talk about the actor, which is very humble. It was launched in March 2017 and promised that it would give a deeper look into the life of the actor. It promised the users an exclusive look at photos, music contests, live streams, and more. Users could collect and buy stars that determine their place in the global ranking of fans. Basically, it was like a private Instagram page only for the people who had the app. People actually got the app, surprisingly, in case you're wondering, but it started to fail after people found out that some common replies and posts weren't actually coming from the actor himself. People were actually making Jeremy Renner accounts, and the real actor ended up shutting down the app, but refunded everyone who had recently purchased stars, which is nice. At number seven is he feels that the gender wage gap is not his problem. Of course he does. He's making more money. He has a reputation for saying things that are totally crossing the line, and one comment he made really bothered some of his fans. Mostly the females, I'm sure. When speaking on the ongoing issue in the industry of their female performers being paid less than their male co-stars, he said, It's not my problem, man. I just gotta focus on my craft. He claims to support his fellow actresses receiving equal pay, but says he's more focused on his craft than what everyone else is making. He went on to say, I do what I'm good at. That's what I focus on. I mean, I get what he's saying. It really isn't up to him, but I do think he would be focused on what people are making if he was the one making less than his female co-stars. Regardless of my personal opinion, people did not react well to his comments. It's all fun and games until it's your income. In spot number six is he called Black Widow a slut. This is just another prime example of some of the comments he has made that have negatively affected his career. While doing an interview during the promotion of Avengers Age of Ultron, Renner answered some questions with his co-star Chris Evans. One of the questions was what they thought of the 
fans expectations that Black Widow would end up with one of them in the movie. Renner joked in his response that Black Widow in the Marvel Universe is a slut and a complete whore. His words, not mine. Some fans were able to laugh along with them, but the majority of them called his remarks sexist and said it was completely inappropriate. Both men did issue an apology, but Renner's was a bit less genuine and a little more sarcastic than anything. He released a statement saying, I quote, I am sorry that this tasteless joke about a fictional character offended anyone. It was not meant to be serious in any way, just poking fun during an exhausting and tedious press tour. He just sounds like a ray of sunshine. Have we do a list at number five is Marvel fans hate him. After people saw his character in Avengers Endgame, fans started a viral Twitter page to hate on his character Hawkeye, saying that he should have been the one killed in the franchise. The Twitter page is called It Should Have Been Hawkeye, referencing that Black Widow should have never died and it should have been him instead. Because his character ended up turning into this revengeful serial killer, people called his actions disgusting and called out the fact that he was only killing people of color. Fans started to say that his character was racist and basically got away with murder. And they wanted to make it clear on the internet that his character should not be continuing with the MCU. I mean, when fans are wishing for your character to be dead, you know that you're doing something wrong. Although, let's not forget that he's just an actor. He's just playing the part. It's not like he wrote the script. Here we are at number four with his daughter ruined his life. All right, that's a little bit dramatic because he was obviously kidding when he told the Today Show that his daughter ruined his life. But he did admit that ever since he became a dad, it has ruined his ambition for his acting career. When speaking about his daughter, Ava, he said, she's kind of ruined my life. We were talking about how much I love my job and all these wonderful things. That means nothing anymore. He loves being a dad, which is incredibly sweet, but he openly admits that he's lacking that drive and ambition in his career that he once had before she came into their lives. He's too busy focusing on his love for her that he just doesn't care as much about his career. But he did say that he just doesn't want to be old and broke. I think we all feel that. But I feel like once that ambition and passion for your craft is gone or is put on the back burner, it will definitely take a toll on an artist's career. How could it not? All right, you guys, in the third spot on our list is his comment about JLo's breasts. Are we even surprised at this point? The actor presented an award with JLo at the Golden Globes back in 2015 and of course had to make an inappropriate comment about her boobs. While presenting the award for best actor in a television miniseries or movie, Jen volunteered to open the envelope and reveal the winner by saying, you want me to do it? I have the nails. And Jeremy replied with, you have the globes too, and looked at her breasts. Jen laughed at the comment before reading the winner, but people were not impressed, even some of his fellow artists who were in the room. Sarah Schaffner tweeted out, Jeremy Renner wins best supporting creep, hashtag Golden Globes. People were not impressed by his so-called joke, but Jen didn't seem to care. I mean, he is complimenting her boobs. She came to his defense after people attacked him online and she told E! News, that was really funny. He's a very funny man. It even made me a little hot. Jeremy did not apologize for his comments, but instead tweeted out that we shouldn't take this so seriously. What a gentleman. At number two is he has no career outside of Marvel. I don't think this is totally accurate, but I get what people mean by it. He really is only known for his role of Hawkeye, and that's where the majority of his income has come from. If you take that role away, what does he have to show for his career? Not to mention there's a huge chunk of people who don't even want him in the Marvel Universe anyways. People have pointed out that this is why he tries out so many different strategies in his career, like the music we discussed and the app that failed. He's also done some work for Amazon, I bet you didn't know that. He created his own store that is inspired by his Hawkeye hero character. The collab launched in August 2019 and features outdoor camping equipment, sporting goods, and of course, an archery target and a bow. Fans were quick to point out that Hawkeye is all he has going for him, so it makes sense that he would team up for a collaboration like this one. They can't even deny that they didn't want Jeremy Renner for the collab, they wanted Hawkeye. Taking the number one spot is he tried to kill his wife. Like I promised, some serious has hit the fan recently, and if the other number on this list didn't end his career, this one might. Court documents have surfaced this weekend showing that his now ex-wife has accused him of verbal and emotional abuse, including an incident where he threatened to kill her. The documents claim that he was drunk and on cocaine when the altercation happened and that he allegedly put a gun in his mouth and then fired it up into the ceiling, all while their daughter Ava was home. Sunny is wanting custody of Ava and also made claims that Jeremy did drugs in their home and left cocaine on a low kitchen counter within reach of their child. The actor has the all of the allegations.
experience and says that she is just looking for a cash grab. TMZ has also reported that he has hired a mental health specialist to monitor his visits with Ava so that he can prove that he's in fact sober and a responsible father. He's making claims himself that Sonny is actually the one with a drug problem and that he submitted to random drug testing for three months and they all came back negative. These claims have currently caused a whole bunch of chaos for the actor and until things are proven and he is found guilty, we are going to have to wait and see what happens to his role of Hawkeye and other work that he has planned in the future. Alright guys, there's our list. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Do you think his career is over? In the meantime, I think it's only fair we check out some comments from my last Marvel list. Jackpot to Don says, Jocelyn, you're not stupid, but I can't help myself when you make mistakes. I gotta laugh. Honestly, I don't even blame you. Please. Feel free to laugh at me anytime. Dennis O'Brien says, It has always been confusing having the Capitol building in the US Capitol, Washington, DC. Honestly, I don't feel as dumb now. I've always spelt it with an A. Delmarie Walker says, LOL, you're so funny, you make my day. Stay blessed. Well, you just made my day. Stay blessed. Depressed Omiego says, Saw Marvel, I clicked. Well, I hope this Marvel list was also worth the click. We are at the end here. That's all I have for you guys. Show us some love before you go and click that thumbs up button. Our bonus content starts in just a moment. I'm your girl Joss, and I will see you in a future video. Oh,